Is Erdrick disqualified? Were we wrong about all the DLC picks? Alright guys, so you have probably read it, it said Hypnotic Gaming, and yes, I am Hypnotic Switch now, but I just thought it would be a little fun thing to do just to kind of bring back some old memories. But anyway, how's it going everybody, Hypnotic here, and welcome to a Smash DLC discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about the most recent leaks for Smash DLC and what they have to offer, so be sure to stick around. Before we get into this though, be sure to hit that subscribe button to show your support to the Hypnotic Switch channel. As of now, we have 94 subscribers with the goal of 100 at the end of the month, so if you could help me out with that, that would be amazing. But with all else being said, let's get started. Now for this discussion, I'm going to be focusing on a post from Alexpo.com. They talk about certain leaks that lead to certain characters and might even suggest other characters other than characters like Erdrick from Dragon Quest. And it reads, Chrono and Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC leak. The possibility of a new Square Enix rep in Smash Ultimate has been brought up many times. In addition to the recent 4chan leak, credible leaker Vergaben also supports this theory. According to the recent DLC leak, the character could be Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Interestingly, a data miner also found a Chrono file in the Smash Bros. Ultimate game files. This could mean something else, such as some kind of in-game time value. Still, with Chrono being the protagonist's translated Japanese name, it definitely adds some interest to this theory. Niku in Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Leak Niku Sakurawa from The World Ends With You was also brought up as a possible Square Enix inclusion. With the game's recent re-release on the Nintendo Switch and Sakurai's tendency to include RPG protagonists, this one makes a lot of sense. Adele Guard in Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Leak While it seems there are already enough Fire Emblem characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, we could have another one coming. The 4chan leak states that Eldegard from the Fire Emblem Three Houses has also been brought up by a source. And Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Leak also claims Silex from Metroid will be in the roster. Silex was a bounty hunter and antagonist in Metroid Prime, Hunters, and Metroid Prime 3, Corruption. He's also rumored to be the main villain of Metroid Prime 4. Interestingly, of the 1,300 plus spirits in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Silex is missing. This is despite other hunters making it in. This could be a new DLC character to be announced along with the launch of Metroid Prime 4. Basically, these characters are rumored to be the last four characters for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC game. Uh, not a DLC game, but you know, the DLC for the game. However, there was a 4chan leak that correctly predicted Joker from Persona 5 to be in the game. In that same 4chan post, it was also said that Steve from Minecraft would be getting in as well as a few other characters. I can't think of all of the rest of them off of hand, but I do know for sure that Steve is a very, very highly requested character for the Smash Brothers game. Let me know if you think that these are true or not down in the comments below, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe with your friends, and I will see you guys on the flip side.